Welcome back everyone, John here with you again, j and Music. And today I want to come back with you with a couple of questions that uh, people had on some of our previous videos on uh, Guitar Center. And just want to talk about kind of Guitar Center in our area and then why uh, just kind of being in the business of uh, having a music shop, why I think that uh, Guitar Center is hurting as a, as a major company and kind of spreading themselves thin or kind of having a few, um, you know, other irons in the fire that may be hurting them. Um, as far as, you know, Guitar, guitar Center as a whole, you know, they've got a showroom, which is awesome. Musicians, they want to, you know, pick up you know, an instrument and be able to play it, see how it feels. Every instrument plays different, every instrument sounds different, so you want to be able to pick one up and play it. You know, if you buy one blind, you know, off the internet, you know, just reading specs, that doesn't really tell you much. You get it, you're like, eh, I don't like it. You know, so then you're having to go sell it, trade it, trying to refund it, whatever you're trying to do. So it's great to have guitar shops to where you can pick it up and play, and of course, Guitar Center being the, the largest retailer of new equipment, you know, you just go to Guitar Center. They've got tons of stuff hanging on the wall. You know, pick it up, play it, you like it. You know, but the next thing you do, you want to save some money. You know, you got to pay tax. You know, so you already know you like it. So what a lot of things are happening. You know, Guitar Center, you are you may go to Musician's Friend, which is their, you know, kind of online outlet. Well, if you go to Musician's Friend, you already know you like it. You know, they get it shipped to you within a couple of days. It's free shipping. There's no tax because they don't, Musician's Friend doesn't have a brick and mortar store, so they don't have to uh, pay taxes. So, you know, so therefore Guitar Center lost a sale. But what happens if, you know, you like that guitar, but other retailers carry it where you're still going to get the same tax savings? You go to Sweetwater. Sweetwater is another great example of uh, another great um, music, you know, online retailer. And they're, you know, decent sized powerhouse. So, you know, as far as Guitar Center as a whole as a company, you know, they're losing out on an entire sale. You go to Guitar Center, you pick up the guitar, you love it. Now, okay, now I'm going to go to Sweetwater. You know, I totally bypass Guitar Center, Musician's Friend. The whole company loses money, you know, and now you've got, you know, free shipping, tax free, and you get the little bag of candy, you know, with Sweetwater. That's their other little perk, their other little bonus. Um, but in our area and as Guitar Center as a whole, you know, our managers here at Guitar Center, they make about 54000 a year, just the store manager. Then you're talking the operations manager makes about 38000 a year. You know, the guy who's running the back end, the warehouse and all that other stuff. But they also have managers that run, you know, their, their lesson area too. And they're, you know, in the, uh, in the high 20s, uh, low 30s. In that respect so by the time you just got those three managers uh, the ones over the store the ones over operations for the warehouse and uh, the one that's over the lesson area you're already talking a hundred thousand dollars just in you know their sales as, as far as their salaries and you you haven't even sold anything yet then you got all your um, all your sales associates they also work on commission so therefore the more they sell the more their commission base is, you know, and then you've got all the overhead of the lights, you know, you've got a, you got water, you got to maintain the restrooms, you got all this other crazy stuff, you know, that, uh, that they have to do. So, you know, and then you've got several hundred thousand dollars worth of inventory just sitting there that, you know, that, that you've got to sell. So, you know, you're, you're looking even at a small uh, guitar center where we are, you know, you're looking at a half a million dollars worth of stuff that just sits in that guitar center, you know, at, at any one given time, as far as, you know, the, the upkeep, the maintenance, the salaries, everything, you know, and then somebody comes in, they like the guitar, I can wait a few days, now you're going online. And like I say, they could go to Musician's Friends, so overall, bottom line, the company could make a few dollars, you know, that way, but if they go to, to Sweetwater or Sam Ash or Z Sounds or, any other retailer that's just not Guitar Center or Musician's Friend or any of the other kind of little small conglomerates that they own. But, you know, they're losing and that's why they're two billion dollars in debt. You know, they've you know, they've they've kind of expanded, you know, at, at such a great rate and then they've, you know, put all of these, you know, guitar centers, they've got 
four or five in Dallas. They've got just as many, you know, in Houston. They've got all these markets that have multiple, you know, uh, you know, locations. And then there you go. You're you're timesing all that as far as manager salaries and all that. So, you know, in the Dallas area, you could have a couple of million dollars just wrapped up in just manager salaries before, you know, they've even sold the first pack of strings. So that's just kind of one of those things that, uh, you know, like I said, we've had a few comments on our other videos talking about Guitar Center going down. That's just uh, kind of our thoughts talking here at the shop and talking with other people is that, like I say, you can go to Guitar Center. It's awesome. It's great. They've got tons of new things hanging on the wall. You play it. You know you like it. You can wait a few days. So you leave there. Don't spend any money with them, but you've utilized their facility. You go online. You buy it. You save money. I mean, like I say, here here where we are, it's a 10% tax rate. So if you're going to buy a $500 guitar, you just saved yourself 50 bucks without even having to haggle. And a lot of times you can get other retailers online to price match or even take a greater percentage off of what theirs is. And then you don't have to pay tax. You could save, like I say, a minimum of 10% just by going online, at least here in our area because the tax rate's 10%. But that's just our thoughts. If anybody else has any kind of comments or opinions, please leave those below in the comments section. If you like our videos, uh, please give a thumbs up and share. We love that interaction and uh, others letting uh, people know about our channel. And if you'd like to be uh, part of the J&W Music family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way the next time we put a video out, you'll be one of the first ones to be notified. And as always, our motto here, Stop dreaming, start playing. We'll see you next time.